sublime drama of statements and realization, sovereign of the Sangha, the assembly of noble ones, good, good, think of me, great treasure of blessings and compassion, source of the two cities, enlightened activity that grants all wishes, good, guru, think of me. Guru, boundless light, think of me. Regard me from the expanse of the unconstructed Dhammakaya. Lead me wandering throughout samsara because of my evil actions. To rebirth in your pure land of earthly. <coughs> Guru, mighty Avalokiteshvara, think of me. Regard me from the expanse of luminous Sambhogakaya. Completely pacify the suffering of the six classes of beings and turn the three realms of samsara from the depths. Guru Padma Sambhava, think of me. Regard me from Chamara, the realm of lotus light. As I am without refuge in dusk, this dark age, protect you, help us, disciple, with your swift compassion. Guru Yashitsagya, think of me. Regard me from the celestial city of great bliss. Though I have done much evil, free me from the oceans of existence into the great city of liberation. Lineage gurus of the Kama and Therma, think of me. Regard me from the expanse of the unified awakefulness. In my mind, a cave dark with confusion, Make the sun of realization done. Omniscient dreamers, think of me. Regard me from the expanse of the five lights of spontaneous presence. Having perfected the great strength of realizing primordial purity, make me reach culmination in the four visions. Feel as Lord Atisha, Father and Son, think of me. Regard me from Tushita while surrounded by hundreds of deities. Cause bodhicitta emptiness first suffused with compassion to arise within my mind. 
Supreme Seed as my familiar Epi and Gampopa think of me. Regard me from the basic space of indestructible great bliss. Help me to attain the Supreme Seed of my Muda empty bliss. And awaken Dharmakaya in the depths of my heart. Mighty Lord of this world, come up and think of me. Regard me from the basic space, stemming beings to the riches of space. Help me realize that all phenomena are false, mere illusions, cause experiences to arise at the three kayas. Master of the four great and elite leader, Kagyu lineage, think of me. Regard me from the Buddha field of pure personal experience, having dissolved the confusion of the four state. Lead me to the end of experience and realization. Five Sakya forefather, think of me. Regard me from the expanse of samsara and nirvana, indivisible, combining the pure view, meditation and conduct. Lead me along the supreme path of secrets. Unequal master of the Shangpaka, you think of me. Regard me from the Buddha realm of total purity. By properly practicing means and liberation, enable me to discover the unity beyond learning. Mahasiddha Tang Tong Yabo, think of me. Regard me from the expanse of effortless compassion by practicing the discipline of realizing the absence of concrete reality. Enable me to master prana and mind. Only Father Dampa Sangye, think of me. Regard me from the basic space which accomplishes a supreme activity. With the lineage blessings entering my heart, cause auspicious connections to arise in all directions. Only Mother Magic Labron, think of me. Regard me from the expanse of Prajna Paramita, cutting through the subtle pretense of clinging to a self. May I see the truth of simplicity beyond self. Omniscient Dopo Sangye, think of me. Regard me from the basic space endowed with the supreme of all aspects, having still the breath of transference within the essential channel. May I attain the Vajra body beyond transference. Jetsun Taranata, think of me. Regard me from the basic space of the three companions. Having traveled the secret Vajra path unimpeded, may I accomplish a celestial rainbow body. Techen Chogyu Limpa, think of me. Regard me from the all pervasive realm of Dhammakaya. Having let dualistic thought dissolve into the state of non-arising, may I reassume the seat of natural awareness. Orgyen Dechen Limpa, think of me. Regard me from the self-luminous realm of Sambhogakaya. Enable me to realize beyond abandonment and attainment the great spontaneous presence of the five Kayas in wisdom. All pervasive Sheikh Paulimba, think of me. Regard me from the compassionate state of taming beings, discovering the jewel of mind within myself. May the fruition be perfected within the ground. Sempa Padman Yugu, think of me. Look upon me from the realm of the magical net. May I be inseparable from the Supreme Wisdom King, the Sovereign of the Four Kayas. Jam Yang Yetze Wampo, think of me. Regard me from the basic space of the wisdom of twofold knowledge, dispelling the mental darkness of unknowing. May I spread the light of supreme knowledge. O Sir Tupe Doje, think of me. Regard me from the expanse of five colored rainbow lights. Having purified the stains of essence, winds, and perception, may I awaken within the youthful vase body. Pema Donga Limpa, think of me. Regard me from the expanse of unchanging empty bliss.
grant me the ability to completely fulfill all intentions of the victorious ones in the hills. I on ten yards or think of me. Regard me from the expanse of the unity of basic space and wisdom. Rending my clinging to an apparent reality. May I bring whatever arises onto the path. Son of the victorious one, Lord Rotai, I think of me. Regard me from the expanse of loving kindness and compassion. Knowing all beings to be my kind parents, may I acquire a pure altruistic heart. Be Makagi, won't you think of me? Regard me from the basic space of luminous great bliss. Having liberated the five poisons into the five wisdoms, may I destroy the duality of loss and gain. Then you limpa, think of me. Regard me from the basic space in which existence and peace are equal. Genuine devotion having grown in my mind, may the great realization and liberation be simultaneous. Boka mighty Vajaya Dara, think of me. Regard me from the supreme realm of Akanishta. Having realized all apparent phenomena as Mahmudra, may I attend on meditation the Dhammakaya. Kind root guru, think of me. Regard me from the crown of my head, the abode of great bliss. Having met Dhammakaya natural awareness face to face, may I accomplish Buddhahood in a single lifetime. Alas! Sentient beings like me with negative karma and evil deeds have wandered in samsara from beginningless time. I continue to experience endless suffering, but I never feel even the briefest moment of regret. Guru, think of me, regard me with compassion, bless me that renunciation may arise from the depths of my heart. For having attained the freedoms and riches I squander my life, always preoccupied by the pointless affairs of this world. When applying myself to the great pursuit of liberation, I am overcome by laziness. As I return from the island of jewels, empty-handed, Guru, think of me, regard me with compassion, bless me that my human life may become meaningful. Not a single life on earth escapes death, even now they pass away one after the other. Soon I too must die, I am a fool, thinking I remain forever. Guru, think of me, regard me with compassion, bless me so that with no time to waste, I will curtail my plans. I will be separated from each of my loved ones, all the valuables I've hoarded will be enjoyed by others, even this body I hold so dear will be left behind. And when the bard or my consciousness will wander endlessly throughout samsara, Guru, think of me, regard me with compassion, bless me that I may realize the fertility of it all. <coughs> the, dark, the black darkness of fear confronts me. The fierce gale of karma pursues me. The lord of death hideous thugs club and beat me. Having to endure the unbearable sufferings of negative rebirth. Guru, think of me. Regard me with compassion. Bless me that I may be liberated from the abyss of the Lorenz. Though my faults are as great as a mountain, I keep them to myself. Though others fall as small as sesame seeds, I proclaim them far and wide. 
Though I lack the list of qualities I boast about how great I am, I call myself a Dhamma practitioner but behave to the contrary. Guru, think of me, regard me with compassion, bless me to pacify my selfish pride. Within I conceal my enemies <laughs> and the clinging. All my thoughts only cause disturbing emotions to increase. All my actions result in non-virtue. As I have not so much as turned towards the path of liberation. Guru, think of me. Regard me with compassion. Bless me that self-grasping be severed at the root. With a little praise or blame comes much of sorrow. With a few harsh words I let down my arm of patience. Although I see the afflicted, I feel no compassion. When I have the chance to be gentle, bound by the knot of greed. Guru, think of me. Regard me with compassion. Bless me to mingle my mind with the Dharma. Though in substantial I ascribe substance to samsara, for the sake of food of clothing I abandoned what has lasting value. Although I have all I have needed, I crave for more and more. I deceive myself with unreal illusory phenomena. Guru, think of me, regard me with compassion, bless me to abandon any interest in such a life as this. Unable to bear the slightest physical or mental thing, which judged hard, I don't hesitate to take inferior burdens. Even though I directly perceive that cause and effect are unfailing, instead of doing what is right, I only perpetuate arms. Guru, think of me, regard me with compassion, bless me that I gain. Conviction in the law of karma. I hate my enemy, enemies and cling to my friends, groping in dark delusion as to what to accept and reject. When practicing the Dharma, I fell prey to dullness and sleep. When involved in no Dharma, my senses are clear and sharp. Guru, think of me, regard me with compassion. Bless me that I destroy my enemy, disturbing emotions. On the surface I appear to be a pure practitioner, while inwardly my mind is not mingled with the Dharma. Like a viper I had my disturbing emotions within, but faced with trouble my faults are exposed. Guru, think of me, regard me with compassion, Bless me that I may tame my own mind. Failing to notice my own shortcomings, pretending to be spiritual I'm anything but naturally skilled in negative emotions and karma. Again and again good intentions arise, again and again they come to naught. Guru, think of me, regard me with compassion, Bless me that I might see my own faults. As each day passes, death approaches even nearer. As each day passes, my heart becomes ever more calloused. While following a teacher, my devotion gradually fades, and my life, love and pure perception towards my Dharma friends diminish. Guru, think of me. Regard me with compassion, bless me to tame my savage mind. I take refuge in gender bodhicitta and supplicate, but devotion and compassion are not felt deep within my heart. These dumb activities are mere lip service. I only go through the motions and I'm left untouched. Guru, think of me. Regard me with compassion, bless me that whatever I do 
may lead to Dharma. All suffering arises from one own wanting my own happiness. Although it is said that Buddhahood is accomplished by wanting to help others, though I engender bodhicitta secretly, my aims are selfish. On top of not benefiting others, I harm them. Guru, think of me, regard me with compassion. Bless me that I'm able to put myself in others' place. Although my Guru, the Buddha, actually manifest, I think of him as simply human. I forget his kindness in imparting the profound instructions. If it does not give me what I want, I lose faith. I obscure myself by seeing his behavior through doubts and disdain. Guru, think of me, regard me with compassion. Bless me that my devotion may not fade but grow. Although my mind is a Buddha, I don't recognize it. Although thinking is the Makaya, I don't realize it. Although non-fabrication in the innate, I fail to sustain it. Although naturalness is a basic state, I am not convinced. Guru, think of me, regard me with compassion. Bless me that natural awareness is liberated into itself. Although death is sure to come, unable to take it to heart. Although applying in the Jin and Dharma is sure to help, I am unable to practice it. Although the law of karma is certainly true, I don't discriminate correctly. Although mindfulness is surely needed, I don't apply it and I'm carried away by distraction. Guru, think of me, regard me with compassion. Bless me that I may attain undistracted mindfulness. Through previous but come I was born at the end of this dark age. All I have done only result in suffering. The bad influence of others has cut its shadow upon me. My practice of virtue is overcome by the distraction of meaningless talk. Guru, think of me. Regard me with compassion. Bless me to be able to persevere in Dharma practice. At first I thought of nothing but the Dharma. But in the end the result of my actions only caused further samsara and the Lawrence. The harvest of liberation is ravaged by the frost of non-virtue. Like a savage I destroy what is of lasting value. Guru, think of me, regard me with compassion. Bless me that I may perfect the sublime Dharma. Bless me that this enchantment is filled from the bottom of my heart. Bless me that without wasting time I curtail my plans. Bless me that I take death to heart. Bless me that I feel conviction in the law of karma. Bless me that the path is free of obstacles. Bless me that I'm able to practice diligently. Bless me that difficulties are, or to lies are the path. Bless me that I may be steadfast in using the remedies. Bless me that I feel genuine devotion. Bless me that I may come face to face with natural state. Bless me that natural awareness is awakened within my heart. Bless me that confused experience is severed at the root. 
Bless me that I may accomplish Buddhahood in a single lifetime. Precious Guru, I supplicate you. Kind Dharma, Lord, I cry out with longing. Unfortunate I am, my one hope is you. Bless me that we mingle our minds indivisibly. Precious Guru, I supplicate you. Kind Dharma, Lord, I cry out with longing. Unfortunate I am, my one hope is you. <coughs> Bless me that we mingle our minds indivisibly. All mother sentient beings, limitless as space, especially those enemies who hate me, obstructors who harm me, and those who create obstacles on my path to liberation and omniscience, may they experience happiness, be free from suffering, and swiftly may they attain precious, unsurpassed, perfectly complete enlightenment. All mother sentient beings, limitless as space, especially those enemies who hate me, obstructors who harm me, and those who create obstacles on my path to liberation and omniscience, may they experience happiness, be free from suffering, and swiftly may they attain precious, unsurpassed, perfectly complete enlightenment. <laughs> For that purpose, <coughs> until I attain Buddhahood, I will apply my body, speech, and mind to virtue. Until death, I will apply my body, speech, and mind to virtue. From today until this time tomorrow, I will apply my body, speech, and mind to virtue. Sancho <laughs> I take refuge in the Buddhas until I attain the essence of awakening. Likewise, I take refuge in the Dharma and in the assembly of the Bodhisattvas. Just as the Buddhas of the past gave rise to Bodhicitta and progressed along the Bodhisattva's path, so shall I give rise to Bodhicitta for the benefit of all beings and practice the stages of the Bodhisattva's path. I take refuge in the Buddhas until I attain the essence of awakening. Likewise, I take refuge in the Dharma and in the assembly of the Bodhisattvas. Just as the Buddhas of the past gave rise to Bodhicitta and progressed along the Bodhisattva's path, so shall I give rise to Bodhicitta for the benefit of all beings and practice the stages of the Bodhisattva's path. <laughs> <laughs> Until awakening, I take refuge in the Buddha, Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By the merit of generosity and other good deeds, may I attain Buddhahood for the benefit of all beings. 
Until awakening, I take refuge in the Buddha, Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By the merit of generosity and other good deeds, may I attain Buddhahood for the benefit of all beings. May all mother sentient beings, limitless as space, have happiness in the causes of happiness. May they be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May they not be separated from the happiness that is free from sorrow. May they rest in equanimity, free from attachment and aversion. May all mother sentient beings, limitless as space, have happiness in the causes of happiness. May they be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May they not be separated from the happiness that is free from sorrow. May they rest in equanimity, free from attachment and aversion. Chimbe 
Sam cho chong do gung ba nang ni de tu ne nang kan ja la sam cha lo da cha ting be da po chom ding de re pe cho la do tan tu ba ye be ve do a kun je ju ba de shi chu jin de tan chong ba xiao de jin xiu ba chu ge jian zha ta ko dang ge ze ze da xian kan zo chi jian chen cho zong ba jian zha dan zha ko na da song jiu a xiao chu la tu jie su wa da be zo da so kan de ne be so 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 ne dong pong tap zo xiu a da zhe da zha xin pe wan zhe de so dun ba ji ding kan zo sun ba da in ma ding Bình dân phụ nữ xe trở chế chế chế, tâm bà yếu rơi nè bà trò xe xe xe. Ôi chàng rơi xe vã kê lòng phá mô, Tà hà yê xe giam bò tà vã yu nà tà, Ê nhà bà tà xoan xe tà chế, Jaya-jaya-jaya-jaya-jaya-jaya-jaya-jaya-jaya-jaya-jaya-jaya-jaya-jaya-jaya-jaya-jaya-jaya-jaya-jaya-jaya-jaya-jaya-jaya-jaya
phenomena become void from within the state of emptiness upon a precious ground appears a lovely bound boundless palace complete with all the perfect attributes within which i vividly appear as the great compassionate one arising from ah a moon disc at my heart is marked with a syllable hri from the hri at my heart light rays radiate and invite the glorious guru who is indivisible from the great compassionate one surrounded by the buddhas and bodhisattvas of the four families he appears in the space in front of me, and sits upon a moon disc, resting on a thousand-petaled lotus flower, which sits upon a jeweled throne. Homage and praise to the Guru, who embodies all Buddhas, whose essence is the Vajra holder, and who are the root of the three jewels. Homage and praise to the radiant Amitabha, the Dharmakaya of all the Bliskan ones of the three times, appearing as Avalokiteshvara, the eleven-faced one who gazes upon all beings of the six realms. Homage and praise to Avalokiteshvara, who with compassionate eyes watches over beings, who untainted by faults is white in color, and whose crown is adorned by the perfect Buddha. Homage and praise to the Sugatas of the five families, who prevail over skillful means and supreme wisdom, and who, though inseparable from space-like Dharmakaya, emanate distinctly in rainbow-like forms. From the seed syllable at my heart emanate goddesses, who offer flowers, incense, lamps, perfumes, food, and the like.
Holder and others, please heed me. With heartfelt regret, I confess all transgressions of the three kinds of vows which I have committed while overpowered by ignorance. Whatever wrongs I have done at any time, I confess them with great fear. From now on, I will not allow them to happen again. I rejoice in all virtue, and I supplicate you to turn the wheel of Dharma. Holding in mind the awakened state of Buddhahood, I dedicate all virtues to supreme enlightenment. May all sentient beings be endowed with happiness. May they be free from all suffering. May they never be without happiness. May they abide in great equanimity. <laughs> Ba 
바 가시를 제시한다 진여온토지 주변제 아세가본초아주대토가다베데 哎呀，哥，不知不打那金子，我当街把金子。All phenomena that are subsumed under perceiver and perceived become empty. From within this state, the nature of my mind appears as a white hri upon a lotus and moon disk. From it, light streams forth and fulfills the purpose of sentient beings. The light then gathers back into the hri, which transforms into a golden lotus marked with a hri. From the hri, light emanates once again in the form of hooks and lassos that invite the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas of the ten directions. They dissolve into the lotus and hri. And instantly transform into myself, appearing as the noble Avalokiteshvara. My body is youthful, white in color, with eleven faces. The main face is white, the right face is green, and the left face is red. Above them, the middle face is green, the right face is red, and the left face is white. Above them, the middle face is red, the right face is white, and the left face is green. These faces have a peaceful expression. Above all of them is a black, wrathful face with three eyes, bared fangs, and a menacing, frowning grimace. Above it is a red, peaceful face with a crown protrusion. Unadorned, it is visible from the neck up. Of my eight main hands, the first two on top are folded in prayer at my heart. Below it, the second right hand holds a crystal mala. The third is in the gesture of supreme generosity, and the fourth holds a wheel. The second left hand holds a lotus. The third holds an anointing vase, and the fourth holds a bow and arrow. My remaining nine hundred and ninety-two hands are in the gesture of supreme giving, and each of the one thousand hands has an eye on its palm. I am adorned with ornaments of precious gems, and I am wearing an upper garment of an antelope skin draped over my left breast. My lower garment is made from banares. My crown is adorned with a diadem of beautiful silks, and I emit rays of white light. At my heart, upon a moon disk, is the white letter Hri, whose light rays invite Avalokiteshvara and his retinue. From the pure land of Potala. Ava me jo na ye 
Homage and praise to Avalokiteshvara, who with compassionate eyes watches over beings, who untainted by faults is white in color and whose crown is adorned by the perfect Buddha. Ja, Hong, Bam, Ho. We merge inseparably, and my three places become marked with the syllables Om, Ah, Hong. Again, light radiates from the Hri at my heart, which causes the five Tathagatas to come here. From their hearts emanate the four mothers, holding primordial wisdom nectar, which they use to bestow empowerment directly upon me. The nectar overflows and transforms into the essence of the Guru, appearing as Amitabha at my crown, Akshobhya at my forehead, Ratnasambhava behind my right ear, Amoga Siddhi behind my left ear, and Vairochana at the nape of my neck. Thus I am crowned by the lords of the five families. At my heart upon a lotus and moon is the essence of the wisdom being, the great compassionate one. He is the size of a thumb joint. And at his heart is the Samadhi being, appearing as a white letter Hri. From it light issues forth and purifies the obscurations of all beings, and they all transform into the great compassionate one. The light then returns and dissolves back into the Hri. Sadoya, Makaranagai, 
Ela sa ne gudya 
From the hri at my heart emanates the letter Brahm, which travels to the space in front of me. The Brahm then melts and transforms into a palace of jewels square with four doors. Inside is a jeweled throne and a moon disk, upon which is a multicolored, eight-petaled lotus. At its center is a hri, which transforms into the great compassionate one, crystal clear resembling myself. His body is youthful, white in color, with eleven faces. The main face is white, the right face is green, and the left face is red. Above them, the middle face is green, the right face is red, and the left face is white. Above them, the middle face is red, the right face is white, and the left face is green. These faces have a peaceful expression. Above all of them is a black, wrathful face with three eyes, bared fangs, and a menacing, frowning grimace. Above it is a red, peaceful face with a crown protrusion. Unadorned, it is visible from the neck up. Of his eight main hands, the first two on top are folded in prayer at his heart. Below it, the second right hand holds a crystal <clears throat> mala. The third is in the gesture of supreme generosity, and the fourth holds a wheel. The second left hand holds a lotus. The third is an anoint holds an anointing vase, and the fourth holds a bow and arrow. His remaining 992 hands are in the gesture of supreme giving, and each of the 1,000 hands has an eye on its palm. He is adorned with ornaments of precious gems and wears an upper garment of an antelope skin draped over his left breast. The lower garment is made from Benares. The crown is adorned with a diadem of beautiful silks and he emits rays of white light. Above, Ahri transforms into red Amitabha, his hands in the gesture of Samadhi. In the east, Ahong transforms into blue Akshobhya, his hands in the earth-touching gesture. In the south, a trum transforms into yellow Ratnasambhava, his hands in the gesture of supreme giving. In the west, an om transforms into white Virochana in the aspect of supreme awakening. In the north, an ah transforms into green Amoga city, with his hands in the gesture of granting protection. All of them are adorned with jewels, and their three places are marked with the three seed syllables. The light radiating from the three syllables invites the wisdom being who dissolve into him and thus we merge non-dually. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
to the gurus who embody all buddhas whose essence is the vajra holder and who are the root of the three jewels homage to the radiant amitabha the dharmakaya of all the bliskan ones of the three times appearing as avalokiteshvara the eleven-faced one who gazes upon all beings of the six realms homage to avalokiteshvara who with compassionate eyes watches over beings who untainted by faults is white in color and whose crown is adorned by the perfect buddha Homage to the Sagatas of the five families, who prevail over skillful means and supreme wisdom, and who, though inseparable from space-like Dharmakaya, emanate distinctly in rainbow-like forms. From the seed syllable <coughs> at my heart emanate goddesses, who offer flowers, incense, lamps, perfumes, food, and the like. <laughs> Om Bandha Gindha Aho, Om Bandha Neveda, Om Bandha Yudha Aho. Others, please heed me. With heartfelt regret, I confess all transgressions of the three kinds of vows, which I have committed while overpowered by the three poisons. 
Whatever wrongs I have done at any time, I confess them with great fear. From now on I will not allow them to happen again. I rejoice in all virtue, and I supplicate you to turn the wheel of Dharma. Holding in mind the awakened state of Buddhahood, I dedicate all virtues to supreme enlightenment. The ground is sprinkled with scented water and strewn with flowers. It is adorned with Mount Meru, the four continents, the sun and the moon. By visualizing it as a Buddha realm and offering it, may all beings enjoy the perfect purity of this realm. Having offered this excellent and pleasing mandala, may we experience no obstacles on the path to awakening. May we realize the enlightened mind of the Sugatas of the three times. May we neither stray into samsara nor rest in nirvana's peace. May all beings, limitless as the sky is vast, become liberated. Streams of primordial wisdom nectar descend from the fingers of myself in the great compassionate one in front, filling the vase completely. Oh, 
Then I, the deity wisdom being, dissolve into the main deity in front. Above my crown is Golongma Palmo, who supplicates the noble one on my behalf. Golongma Palmo's <coughs> praise to the noble lord Avalokiteshvara with prostrations. Om Jitin Gopala Santa Lord Jitin Namasipa Sumjetub Alaya Tuva Tuta Tumba Tub O Tupe Janjo Tupe Tubandeb O Jitin Sumjin Gumbo Chola Santa Lord Tirshipa Mekote Kunzanzemba O Tirshinama Toy Ujin Sepa Sa Opemanzotasonengarsepa O Sidi Karanjola Nova Trip, O Tuzu Tribe Rizo Shantan Zimp, O Tupe Jin Jon Tujin Parasim, O Chonya Suna Mambo Neva Sap, O Tadu Devin Juni Gone Serap, O Sunda Zijin Kurju Jiba Dump, O Lutin Jota Dubon Tule Jarva, O Sidi Kundu Joya Shaya Ump, Oh, <laughs> Jiva de da mahun jiva tanje, tanje tenje tenla na kupa kandra, jaho um jitin kupa la sant, lanje tenla ma suva sumje tup, pa la yutu wu tuta tsumpe tup, pa tupi janjo tupi trupar tup, pa jitin sumje kupa chola sant, la dirshi pa me kute kuna tup, O Dirshi Nama Thay Ujjin Sip, O Sayin Chui Jin Yudha Trigun Sip, O Sayin Usi Ji Pimu Nambar Jin, O Trijin Rapen Chua Masin Chup, O Shari Ji Pa Do Do Vun Zip, O Jin Jai Pe Man Chudu Sayin Yam, O Kawa Tung Da Nunga Trungi Dim, O Trimai Ha Chambadai Tumun Zip, 
Straight to the protector of the universe, the guru of the universe, honored by beings of all three realms, praised by gods, Mara Brahma, wish granting, king of sages, supreme protector, I prostrate, noble body containing all bliss gone, ones your crowns adorned with the Buddha, boundless light, your generous right hand gives ease to hungry. Goes your left hands adorned with a gold lotus. Your perfumed hair flashes with lightning bound up. Like red gold garlands, oh, your face is beautiful. Shining full moon and your lotus eyes are wide. So exquisite, your sweet smelling body's white. As a snowy conch, your whole pure glittering. Pearls, you are draped in radiance like the red of dawn. Your hands spread like perfect lotuses. Uh, Ranged on a still lake, you tinge like the autumn clouds. Many jewels adorn your shoulders, your young palms are exquisite, soft and tender as new leaves. Your left breast is covered by antelope, hide beautified by fine earrings, bracelets, anklets. You abide on a pristinely pure lotus, and your belly smooth as a lotus petal. Your sublime gold belt is studded with fine Gems from your hip strip garments of the finest silk. Supreme wisdom of the Buddha gone be. Young gathering vast merit, you reach the sublime. Lower rounds, liberator, source of the light. You dispel age and disease, you are supreme. Among beings, victor over Mara's hordes, golden anklets jingling, beautify your feet. Your four boundless states, secure beings. In Peace dignified like elephant, graceful as swan, doctrines keeper all accumulations, done savior from the oceans of milk and water, man or woman if you rise each day, at dawn devote your mind with respect to Chen Rezik, and you praise him with this excellent pure song, recite clearly and purely then all of your worldly and transcendent wishes will be Fulfilled in this life and all of your future lives. O my prostrate to the protector of the universe, the guru of the universe, honored by beings of all three realms, praised by gods, Mara Brahma, wish granting, king of sages, supreme protector, I prostrate, noble body containing all bliss gone, Once your crowns adorned with the Buddha boundless light, your generous right hand gives ease to hungry ghosts, your left hands adorned with a gold lotus, your perfumed hair flashes with lightning bound up like red gold garlands, oh, your face is beautiful, shining full moon and your lotus eyes are wide, so exquisite, your sweet smelling body's white as a snowy conch, your whole pure glittering. Pearls, you are draped in radiance like the red of dawn. Your hands spread like perfect lotuses. Arranged on a still lake, you tinge like the autumn clouds. Many jewels adorn your shoulders, your young 
Palms are exquisite, soft and tender as new leaves. Your left breast is covered by antelope. Hide beautified by fine earrings, bracelets, anklets. You abide on a pristinely pure lotus, and your belly smooth as a lotus petal. Your sublime gold belt is studded with fine gems from your hip strip garments of the finest silk. Supreme wisdom of the Buddha gone be. Young gathering vast merit, you reach the sublime. Lower rounds the berator source of the light. You dispel age and disease, you are supreme. Among beings, victor over Mara's hordes, golden anklets jingling, beautify your feet. Your four boundless states secure beings in peace, dignified like elephant, graceful as swan. Doctrines keeper, all accumulations done. Savior from the oceans of milk and water. Man or woman, if you rise each day at dawn, devote your mind with respect to Chen Rezik, and you praise him with this excellent pure song. Recite clearly and purely, then all of your worldly and transcendent wishes will be. Fulfilled in this life and all of your future lives. O oh, my prostrate to the protector of the universe, the guru of the universe, honored by beings of all three realms, praised by God's Mara Brahma, wish granting, King of sages, supreme protector, I prostrate, noble body containing all bliss gone. Once your crown's adorned with the Buddha boundless light, your generous right hand gives ease to hungry ghosts, your left hand's adorned with a gold lotus, your perfumed hair flashes with lightning bound up like red gold garlands, oh, your face is beautiful, shining full moon, and your lotus eyes are white, so exquisite, your sweet-smelling body's white, as a snowy conch, your whole pure glittering. Pearls, you are draped in radiance like the red of dawn. Your hands spread like perfect lotuses, arranged on a still lake, youth tinged like the autumn clouds. Many jewels adorn your shoulders, your young palms are exquisite, soft and tender as new leaves. Your left breast is covered by antelope, hide beautified by fine earrings, bracelets, anklets. You abide on a pristinely pure low. Does and your belly smooth as a lotus petal. Your sublime gold belt is studded with fine gems from your hip strip garments of the finest silk. Supreme wisdom of the Buddha gone be. Young gathering vast merit, you reach the sublime. Lower rounds the berator source of the light. You dispel age and disease, you are supreme. Among beings, victor over Mara's hordes, golden anklets jingling, beautify your feet, your four boundless states secure beings in peace, dignified like elephant, graceful as swan, doctrines keeper, all accumulations done, savior from the oceans of milk and water. Man or woman, if you rise each day at dawn, devote your mind with respect to Chen Rezik, and you praise him with this excellent pure song. Recite clearly and purely, then all of your worldly and transcendent wishes will be fulfilled in this life and all of your future lives. <laughs> Subhichamma <laughs> Bottom of 49. Please grant your blessings that the teachings and the holders <coughs> of the teachings will remain for a long time, and that myself and all sentient beings may train in bodhicitta. 
Grant your blessings that we may fully attain the union of Shamatha and Vipassana, and that we may fully perfect, real, perfectly realize omniscient wisdom. Om Sobha Vashuddha Sobha Dhamma Sobha Vashuddha Aum Ahoy Ghadu Thiru Nupa Nahoy Bhuntu Dembe Dormande Papa Jinri Zewa Nahoy Jorva Sikya Nam Lampa this torma, endowed with perfect color, odor, taste, and potency, I offer to the noble lord Avalokiteshvara, the Buddhas and the Bodhisattvas. in all my future lives may i be born in a good family and may i be endowed with a clear intellect free from pride and may i have great compassion and devotion to the guru may my samaya with chen Rezi remain firm may bodhicitta the precious and supreme mind arise in whom it has not yet arisen where it has arisen may it not decline but ever increase higher and higher <coughs> streams of nectar to the protector Avalokiteshvara, a lamp for wandering beings. May all defilements and the two kinds of obscurations of all beings be completely purified, and may there be the auspiciousness for all beings to achieve the stainless three kayas. <laughs> And then, Exalted Lord, please heed me. I request you to forgive my lack of clarity in meditation, corrupted mantra recitations, and impure activities regarding cleanliness, all of which I have committed while controlled by lethargy and agitation. Om Bhama Sado Samaya Mane Palaya Bhama Sado Tino Bhata Dandando Me Bhata Tutu Kayo Me Bhava Subhajayo Me Bhava Zade Me Bhanda Sogama Sutam Sutam Shiram Kuro Ho Ha 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 Ho Bhanga Chavata Thanga Dapi Mama Me Dapi Ma Bhama Samaya Sado Ah, oh, man, 
The deity then, oh, in the space before me is the exalted noble one who was born from the six syllables. He bathes me with the nectar that flows from his fingers, which purifies the three obscurations. The deity then dissolves into my crown, and the lotus in the compassionate one's hand opens the lotus of my mind. Although you now depart to Mount Patala, great compassionate one, please return so we can meet again. Visualizing myself as the deity, I appear as the great compassionate one, with one face and two arms. By this virtue may I swiftly accomplish Lord Avalokiteshvara, and may I bring all beings without exception to that state. King of Aspiration Prayers, in the Blue Prayer Book on page 52. Homage to the ever-youthful Manjushri. With purity of body, speech, and mind, I bow to all the heroic Buddhas of the past, present, and future, without exception in every world in all the ten directions. By the power of this aspiration of Samatabhadra, I bow with as many body, bodies as there are atoms in all the world to all those victorious Buddhas manifest in my mind and I pay homage to all of them. I conceive the entire realm of truth to be completely filled with enlightened ones. On each atom I imagine there to be as many Buddhas as atoms in all the world, each Buddha surrounded by many Bodhisattvas. I honor all these blissful lords, praising their perfections with all the sounds of various melodies, an ocean of endless praise. I offer to those heroic Buddhas the finest flowers, garlands, and music, ointments, excellent canopies, choice lamps, and the best incense. I offer as well to those victorious ones the finest array of all excellent things, the finest robes and fragrances, and heaps of sweet-smelling powders as high as Mount Meru. By the power of my faith in the deeds of Samatabhadra, I prostrate and present vast and unequaled offerings to each of the victorious Buddhas. I confess every type of wrongdoing that I have done in thought, word, or deed, while influenced by desire, anger, and ignorance. I rejoice in the meritorious deeds of all the Buddhas, as well as those performed by the <coughs> Bodhisattvas, Pratyaka Buddhas, Arhats, those who are training in the path of training, those who need no more training, and by all sentient beings in the ten directions. I entreat the enlightened protectors who have attained the detachment of Buddhahood and eliminate the world, il illuminate the world, of the ten directions to turn the peerless wheel of dharma. With folded hands I beseech those who intend to manifest the final nirvana to remain for as many aeons as there are atoms in all the worlds for the benefit and happiness of all living beings. May whatever small amount of virtue I may have gained from prostrating, offering, confessing, rejoicing, and beseeching be dedicated to attainment of perfect enlightenment. May I worship the Buddhas of the past and those now present in all the worlds of the ten directions. 
May those to come quickly fulfill their aspiration and reach Buddhahood by traversing the stages of enlightenment swiftly. May all the worlds of the ten directions be extensively and completely pure. May it be filled with bodhisattvas and victorious Buddhas who proceed to the royal tree of enlightenment. May all living beings in the ten directions always be happy and free of sickness. May they be endowed with favorable circumstances for achieving dharmic goals, and may their wishes be accomplished. May I remember my lives in all states of existence while in the training for enlightenment. In all my successive births and deaths, may I always embrace religious life. May I follow all the victorious Buddhas and perfect all the deeds of Samatabhadra, pure in the morality without defect. May my conduct always be flawless. May I teach the Dharma in every tongue, in whatever sounds are understood by living beings, in the languages of the gods, nagas, demons, spirits, and human beings. May I steadfastly apply myself to the six perfections. May I never disregard my intention to attain enlightenment and completely remove whatever faults may obscure my path. May I be free from karma, emotional afflictions, and the influences of demons, like a lotus unsoiled by the mire, or like the sun and moon in a clear sky so that I may proceed unhindered. Throughout all the lands and all the directions, may I relieve the sufferings of the lower realms. May I be able to bring happiness to and provide benefit for all living beings. Fully accomplishing the activities of enlightenment, may I work in harmony with the needs of all beings. May I practice and demonstrate the deeds of Samatabhadra through all future aeons. May I always associate with those whose activities are similar to mine. May we act alike in thought, word, and deed, and may our aspirations be as one. May I always associate with spiritual friends who wish to help me and teach the deeds of Samatabhadra. May I never cause them pain or disappointment. May I always personally behold the victorious Buddhas, whose guardians surrounded by bodhisattvas. Without tiring in all future aeons, may I always present them magnificent offerings. May I always uphold the Buddha's holy dharma and illuminate the deeds of enlightenment. May I train in the practice of Samatabhadra in all future aeons. Through rebirth in all the states of existence, may I gather an endless store of merit and wisdom. May I become an inexhaustible treasure of all virtues of method, wisdom, concentration, and liberation. May I always behold as many pure lands as there are atoms present in each world with inconceivable Buddhas sitting in the midst of their bodhisattvas and performing the activities of enlightenment. In this way, may I be able to see everywhere, even on every mode of dust, countless Buddhas of the past, present, and future, limitless pure lands and endless aeons. May I always heed the pure speech of the victorious Buddhas, which holds within each word the totality of the perfect dharma and an ocean of languages precisely suited to the needs of each being. May I possess the perfect intelligence to heed the endless melody of speech when the victorious Buddhas of the past, present, and future turn the wheels of Dharma. May I accomplish the Bodhisattva's practice of entering the past, present, and future in a fraction of a second. May I know in a single instant all that is encompassed in the duration of the three times. May I behold all the heroic Buddhas of the past, present, and future in a single instant. May I always perform their activities through the power of liberation from illusion. May I perceive upon a single atom the perfect design of the pure realm of the past, present, and future. Thus may I enter into the realms of the victorious Buddhas in all directions. When the illuminators of the world of the future realize the stages of Buddhahood, turn the wheel, and enter the profound peace of Nirvana, may I always be in their presence. May I accomplish the perfect powers of enlightenment the power of miraculous swiftness, the power of perfection of every spiritual path, the power of all virtuous qualities, the power of all pervasive loving-kindness, the power of the merit of every virtue, the power of all transcendent wisdom, and the powers of perfect knowledge, method, and meditation. May the forces of karma be utterly purified, the power of passions utterly subdued, the power of demons utterly destroyed, and the power of deeds of Samatabhadra perfected. May I tirelessly perform the enlightened activities for an ocean of aeons, purifying an ocean of lands, liberating an ocean of beings, realizing an ocean of dharma, attaining an ocean of wisdom, perfecting an ocean of practice, accomplishing an ocean of aspirations, ceaselessly serving an ocean of Buddhas. 
May I completely fulfill all perfect aspirations to the enlightened activities of the victorious Buddhas of the three times by attaining enlightenment according to the deeds of Samatabhadra. The eldest son of the victorious Buddhas is called Samatabhadra. I dedicate all these virtuous actions that my deeds may be like his. May my body, speech, mind, deeds, and environment always be pure. May I become equal to Samatabhadra in these excellent aspirations. May there be no limit to my activities. May there be no limit to my virtues. Through limitless perseverance may I accomplish all miraculous deeds. The limit of living beings is like the limit of open space. May the limit of my aspirations be equal to the limit of their activities and passions. Whoever offers to the victorious Buddhas all the perfect joys of gods and men, and the infinite realms of the ten directions adorned with jewels, for as many aeons as there are atoms in those realms, shall gain great merit. But whoever hears this greatest dedication prayer and is inspired by faith to intensely desire supreme enlightenment, shall gain even higher and holier merit. Whoever recites the aspiration of Samatabhadra will never again endure hellish rebirth, will abandon all evil friends, and will soon behold Amitabha, the Buddha of boundless light. They will gain all benefits, live in happiness, attain precious human rebirth, and soon become like Samatabhadra himself. Even those who in ignorance committed the five unredeemable sins will soon be completely purified by reciting this aspiration of Samatabhadra. They will achieve perfect wisdom, a radiant countenance, beautiful form, auspicious physical marks, and a noble birth. Profane and devilish beings will not trouble them, and they will be honored in the three realms. They will quickly reach the tree of enlightenment and reside there to benefit all beings. As enlightened Buddhas, they will turn the wheel of Dharma, taming the demonic hosts. Whoever preserves, teaches, or recites this aspiration of Samatabhadra shall ultimately attain perfect Buddhahood. May none despair of complete enlightenment. In whatever way valiant Manjushri and Samatabhadra know how to transfer their merit, so do I dedicate all of my own virtues that I might train to be like them. Since dedication is praised as supreme by the victorious Buddhas of the three times, I dedicate all these roots of virtues to accomplishing the deeds of Samatabhadra. At the moment of my death, may all my obscurations be removed, that I may behold Amitabha, the Buddha of boundless light, and go to Sukhavati, the pure land of perfect bliss. In that blissful land may I completely fulfill all these aspirations and benefit all beings as long as the universe remains. Joyful there in that blessed assembly of the Buddha, may I be reborn like the holy ones from an exquisite lotus, and may the Buddha Amitabha himself foretell my own enlightenment. May I thereafter emanate endlessly throughout the power of perfect wisdom to accomplish countless benefits for living beings in all the ten directions. Through whatever small virtues I have gathered by reciting this aspiration of Samatabhadra, may all the virtuous aspirations of living beings be accomplished in a single moment. Through the boundless merit gained by dedicating these aspirations of Samatabhadra, may the countless beings drowning in the torrent of suffering reach the stage of Amitabha. May this greatest of dedication prayers benefit countless living beings. May reciting this ornament of Samatabhadra release all beings from the suffering of the lower realms. We go to the, uh, hmm? page 22. Okay, we go to Long Life Prayers in the Yellow Prayer Book on page 22. For this realm encircled by snow-covered mountains, you are the source of all benefit and happiness. Tenzin Gyatso, Lord Chenrezig, may you remain steadfast until the end of samsara. Embodiment of the three jewels, great being who upholds and increases the teachings of the Shakya Lion, supreme are your activities of guiding others with your perfect deeds. May you, the precious Guru, who accomplishes everything spontaneously, live long. Holder of the teachings of the Lord Drigungpa, great Lord of the Three Jewels, through the power of your peerless compassion and the Holy Dharma's peace and light, you bring relief to beings. May your life be long. The one known in the noble land as Arya Deva emanated into the Gar clan of eastern Tibet as Chidingpa, the heart son of Jigdengumpo. May the life of glorious Garchen remain steadfast for a hundred aeons. Page 28. May the teachings of the great Griek Drigungpa Ratnashri, master of interdependence, omniscient lord of Dharma, 
who has seen all knowable things, be upheld until the end of cyclic existence through study, practice, hearing, contemplation, and meditation. Your thousand arms are the thousand wheel-turning kings. Your thousand eyes are the thousand Buddhas of this fortunate aeon. Your love is boundless like space. I supplicate to the Bodhisattva, Chen Rezi. to extend our heartfelt gratitude to Lama Bunima for leading us in the eight consecutive Nungye retreats for this holy time of Sagadawa. So we are most grateful for all of your perseverance and uh, wonderful uh, guidance and leading us in this really beautiful practice. Thank you. And uh, I, I want to thank many other people for making this retreat possible. Uh, I'd like to thank Padma for uh, making sure everything run, 
ran smoothly for this event and for all of her umsaying uh, throughout out this 16 days. And I'd like to thank Billy for all of his uh, live stream uh, work managing all the technical needs uh, so so well. And thank you to um, Grace for doing all the chopening for the whole retreat. Uh, and we're most grateful for her knowledge and skill and her dedication. And thank you to Vonda for handling all the registration for this event and answering all the questions for everybody. Thank you to uh, Johnny, our uh, staff cook, for creating so many nourishing, uh, wonderful, beautiful meals throughout the whole retreat. And thank you to our, our work-study volunteer team uh, for making it all work. Uh, thank you to Uno and Pavel and Rosemary and Shu and Sarah and Goli and Sojam. So thank you, everyone for your participation. And uh, we had 192 people participate from 37 different countries. So it's wonderful to practice with everyone uh, around the world. And uh, may, may all beings benefit. Everyone be well. Also, thank you to Ani Dagmela for Om Zang and to Ina for, for Om Zang as well. Thank you so much. Um, and also, um, so Bunima Lama uh, does this Nunye practice on a monthly basis. Um, and so anybody that would like to join, um, or and anybody that would be interested in umzaying, they are in need of some umzaying help. So you can please contact us here at questions at garchin.net, or you can email capital G-D-S Nunye at gmail.com to reach that group. Thank you so, so much for your practice. Take care and be well. Um.